have it? Do, 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 do you have it? Go! What's up everybody, Monkey Dude 22 here for another Let's Play. This time I'm going to be playing through Nickelodeon Guts on the Super Nintendo. Uh, this was one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid, loved it, really wanted to climb the aggro crag, I wanted to be at the top of that radical rock and holding that trophy over my head. Unfortunately, I never was able to make that happen, but... We got the next best thing, I got the video games, so... In this episode, I'm gonna go ahead and play through the uh, game show mode and kind of show you about what the game's all about, so... Let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, one of the coolest things about this game is uh, the menus. It's kind of a cool little thing. If you hit, like, the A, B, Y, X buttons and the L and the R buttons, you can manipulate the uh, the actual uh, logo, so let's take a look. Do, do, do you have it? Do, do, do. It's kind of cool. Kind of a cool little thing to play around with. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, of course, we're going to be doing a single player game. So it's called Guts Training. So it's basically like you're training against uh, yourself to kind of get the most points. And uh, you can compete with another player in two player mode. You'll alternate in some of the games, but in the majority of them, you will compete uh, against each other at the same time. Let's go ahead and do the beginner mode. Um, keep the music on, events, setups, and we'll just go ahead and start it out. All right, so now you have the choice between the single events or you can do the entire gut show. We're going to do the gut show because if you don't do the gut show, you can't climb the aggro crag at the end. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, who, which color do we want to be? Uh, we can be blue, red, or purple. Uh, I'm always a fan of the red. And let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and be this guy. Yeah, I'm not a big basketball fan, but whatever. I always do this for the same nickname, see if you can guess it. That's right, I'm the warrior. Here we go. Alright, so we need 700 points to compete on the aggro crag. I'm pretty sure we can do this. It's been a while since I've played this game though, so we'll see how we go. Uh, Attack. This is the first uh, elastic sports game that they have here. Basically what it is, it's kind of aerial lacrosse. You have like a lacrosse stick, you have to jump off this, what they call the aerial bridge. Jump down and then throw it up in the little net here. So let's see how this goes. Alright. So you hold down on the D-pad to kind of charge your momentum. Then you kind of hit a combination of a different kind of buttons here to uh, make us kind of a special move to get the points. Uh, you can do anything from the B button, you can do a combination of A and X, or Y, X and A. Um, and depending on which one you do, uh, you can get different points. So if I do the Y, X, A, obviously that's the most complex, so I'm going to get the most points out of that. I get three. If I do the, uh, let's try the X, A, I believe that one's a two-pointer. Let's try it. Yep, the wrong ones. I gotta get to A, X. Let's try it again. There we go. Uh, yep, got two points out of that one. And then we'll just kind of show you what the normal one looks like, which is just the B. Yeah, just a quick throw. Easy enough. Alright, so we got a minute 40 left to go here in this event to try to get as many points as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to it here. Uh, you can see in the background there, that is the aggro crag. Uh, that was the uh, basically the final, um, I guess you could say stunt, I guess, that the teams would have to go through, or the players would have to go through anyway. And, uh, of course, that would also net you the most points. The way it worked in the TV show is first place would net you 300 points per event, second place gets you 200, and third place would get you 100 points. And uh, it, towards the aggro crag, you could get uh, a maximum of 925 points. And so that was kind of the... Uh, or 725 points, and then 550, and then it was 325 for third. There we go. I'm kind of remembering now. It's been so long since I've seen the show here. All right, here we go. 50 seconds to go. Only missed the one, so can't complain too much about that. Still got my groove here, and of course I didn't practice uh, before this, so I wanted it to kind of be natural, but I remember playing this game like crazy kid. Uh, in fact, the reason I bought a Super Nintendo, believe it or not, was for this game. So, I'm obviously a huge fan of it, and uh, yeah, I just, it's just like a bike, uh, you know. There we go. Now, so there's three different, uh, what they call elastic sports or aerial events. There's this one, Attack, 
Then they have Slam Dunk, which is basically you get a basketball and you get to try to throw that in the hoop. And then they have Spirals, where it's like a football. You have to throw the uh, football through the, uh, the kind of little target here. All right, so last one. There we go. Not bad. 59 points for the first event. Now, of course, it's going to multiply it here. And uh, we'll see what we got here for the first event. 295 points. Not bad. Not bad for the first event. All right, see what we got here for the next one. Uh, basic training. All right. So basic training, there's two different uh, kind of gyms, uh, gym kind of events in this game. There's basic training and there is tornado run. A uh, tornado run has a little bit more kind of water uh, sort of obstacles that you have to go through, but it's basically a, an obstacle course. On your mark. So see if I can remember how to do this one. It's been so long. All right. So here we go. Uh, okay. So Y is going to be my jump button here. And X is going to be my, uh, kind of my, uh, flip jump, I guess, if it were. All right, here we go. Let's get going. Now, it's kind of important to get these clocks because, uh, the, uh, basically, the more, the faster the time, the more points you get. And so they're, they're kind of important to get. I mean, they're not, like, die hard that, like, you have to get them. But it's one of those things that if you can get them, it is worth getting. Also, there's a bonus flag, and those are pretty easy to spot, and hopefully we'll get one of those too. Uh, that gets you another separate event here, uh, which we'll hopefully grab, and I can show you a little bit later. Now, there is a stamina meter. Um, this happens every single time that like you jump. Um, it kind of goes down a little bit. You can do like a knee slide, which is kind of cool. I'm um, trying to collect these clocks so that I can obviously get the uh, fastest time possible here. All right, let's go. Get through. And of course you got those stamina guys that basically it'll refill your stamina. Uh, so if you get hit by obstacles, obviously your stamina goes down and um, you kind of have to stop um, in order to kind of get your stamina back up. Otherwise you're not going to run very fast. So, all right, here we go. Uh, I don't think there's anything that way. So let's, oh, uh oh, that's no good. Come on, let's go boy. All right, here we go, here we go. There we go, that's a good jump. There we go, all right. Getting pretty high now. I'm trying to remember when this game came out. I want to say it was somewhere back in 1993. It's been a while. Up oh, there's the bonus flag. All right, so we want to try to get that. And it looks like we got to go up here to this uh, higher platform and get onto that uh, uh, rope swing there. So let's see if we can't do that. There we go. Swing back and forth, little pitfall, pitfall action here. There we go. Bam, got the bonus. All right, let's do this. Let's get to the end now. Four minutes, 10 seconds. There's my stamina. Now let's go. Slide for life. Get through. Get through the water. Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. And 357.9. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, now, of course, we got the bonus event here. And uh, basically, the way this one works is uh, you basically need to jump and clear as many balls as possible off of these targets. Now, this is kind of loosely based off an actual event in the show. Um... I don't remember exactly what it was called. I want to say it was off the wall. That might have been what it was. Uh, basically, it was you jump off the aerial bridge and you jump down and you have to try to clear as many of these balls off the wall as possible. I think off the wall was the name of it. Uh, but every single point, or every single ball that comes off, rather, uh, you do get points for. So it is uh, definitely one of those things that uh, if you can get, uh, it's definitely worth getting. So. All right, here we go. And I'm a, I'm a perfectionist here. I like to get all of them if I can. But we need to make sure that we get uh, moving as well. Here we go. All right, there we go. Awesome. Awesome. Totally got that 90s feel, doesn't it? Now, I'm really curious to see, um, I don't know if any of you guys watching here actually subscribe to the Nickelodeon box, or the Nick box as they call it, but uh, they actually do have a uh, live uh, 
Live a TV edition coming out this month in December. And uh, supposedly Nickelodeon Guts is in this. Now, I don't know what it actually is. It looks like I got them all here, so that's cool. Um, but they did have like Pete and Pete. They had Legends of the Hidden Temple, different kind of things like that. So I'd be kind of curious if I get my own little aggro crag out of it. So it'd be kind of cool. All right, so we got all those points there for that training. I got 237 there. We're at 632. We needed, what, 700 to uh, get to the uh, aggro crag there? I think we're doing pretty good. All right, so we got slam dunk this time. Now, this is the same kind of thing as attack, except for you got a basketball, and you want to get into the hoop. So let's go ahead and get going with this one. All right. On your mark. On your mark. Get, get set. set. All right, so now here we go. Uh, same kind of thing. Uh, you'll have the different kind of button combinations so you can throw the ball in the hoop here. Uh, it's always good to try to do it at the top of your jump. There we go. Got one that time. That one's only two points, though. Let's see if we can do the other one. See if we can get the threes. Oh, look at that. Nice move. Nice. All right. Let's do it again. Now, one of the interesting things about the, uh, the game here... Um, so there was like the two different main, I guess you could say host, if, the, if you will. There was Michael Malley, who was basically the host, and you had Mora Quark, who's the ref. Now, Mora Quark is the referee that's standing down there, and that's actually her voice sample. So it is the actual, um, the actress, I guess you could call her, um, that basically played the uh, referee in the show. So that's kind of cool. I'm not sure why uh, Michael Malley didn't make it into the game. Maybe he wanted too much money. Maybe they didn't, weren't sure on how they would do it. I mean, there is kind of an announcer here, so you'd think that maybe they'd have Michael Malley do those kind of lines. That'd be the kind of thing. Uh, not doing too well in this event here, though. Um, I need to start getting some points going in this one. I mean, I've got quite a few points already, so I don't think there's going to be any issue with me getting to the uh, aggro crag. But uh, it's definitely something where I... You know, I take pride in getting as many points as possible going here. So, minute and 14 left to go in the uh, event here. Got to get going here. 13 attempts. I've only made five. This is pretty sad. Let's see if we can just get some regular ones going here. Here we go. Got something. Let's get some momentum going now. All right. Ah, oh, missed it. Missed it, missed it, missed it. Come on. Come on, boy. There you go. All right. Let's see if I can get at least 30. Let's try to get at least 30 here. There we go. 21. This is pretty sad for me. Usually I do a lot better in this event. Now, attack is probably the easiest one because the, uh, I guess you'd say the hitbox of, you know, the, the area that you have to try to get the ball in is much bigger than, uh, of course, the basketball hoop. It's a lot more uh, precision in this event, but... Uh, you know, usually I do better, but I guess it's just not meant to be this time. Yeah, still missed it that time. You know, I haven't played this in the longest time either. So, you know, obviously there's going to be timing and whatnot. That didn't look like it went in, but I'll take it. I got 30. Come on, get over the hump. Bam. All right. So I got 33. It's, it's, it's respectable. Typically, I would see myself up at least in the 60s. But, uh, yeah, we'll take it. See how many points we got. 165. Not bad. Not bad. Um, but looks like I've already got enough points to qualify for the aggro crag. So let's get on with the fourth event, which is Tornado Run. Now, this is exactly like the basic training events, except the obstacles are a little bit harder. You'll see a little bit more of those sandbags kind of going back and forth. Uh, you're going to see some water jets and a couple of other different kind of obstacles. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. On your mark. And we're going right to left this time. So that always kind of throws me off. Oh, missed that one. All right, so you can kind of see already we got some different kind of obstacles there. Uh, all right. Try to cheat the system there on that one. Wasn't happening. Come on, boy. Let's go. Red, you my boy. We got this. You can already tell the uh, obstacles are a little bit more uh, challenging uh, in this event than they were in the others. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, now we're getting on a roll. So you got these little uh, things too that you got to jump across. I don't think I need to go up there necessarily right now. Yeah, here we go. We have to go across them eventually. All right, come on now. 
Let's make up some time. There you go. That's what I want to see. Alright, let's go. Now, I've already gotten a bonus, so I don't think there's another one in this one, or at least not that I can remember. I think once you get the first one, you're done, but I'm going to keep my eye out for it just in case. I just don't expect to see another one. Here we go, get that stamina. Come on, boy. Let's go. Oh, come on. There you go, get up and over. Yeah, there's not a lot of clocks in this one, too, so it's a very important that you kind of go as quick as you can. Now, if you were doing this in the two-player mode, basically you would alternate. Uh, each player would take a turn going through, and obviously the fastest time uh, would get the most points. Uh, but since this is the training, obviously it's just going based off the, uh, uh, the time here. Uh, I'm going to guess that's where the bonus is. But I missed it already, so we got to go. Keep going, keep going. Come on, get up. Ah, oh, come on. Controls are a little wonky. They're not the best. But, we made it. 435, look at him take a... <laughs> he's, he's, he's done. There's no stamina there, so he's, uh, he's dead. Alright. So, going into the aggro crag, we got 1,072 points. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, that's more than uh, most... Uh, kids going through the actual show would get so all right here we go jump on six activators in the fastest time one point per second under the time limit of seven minutes all right so this is the one that everybody looks forward to this is basically the uh, tornado run at its most difficult love the music though it really gets you in the mood don't go watch out for those uh things now here's the actuators jump on them you got the little confetti cannons that go there that's kind of cool remember those from the show don't you those little confetti cannons oh come on oh, i gotta watch out for those smoke screens ah let's go let's go let's go let's go all right here we go that second one there you go bam all right it's the second one we got four to go Getting a little bit higher now in the crag ah. I mean they don't really they don't hurt you too much I mean it's not like you can't go anywhere it just kind of disrupts your view so um, there's no there's no real thing it's like uh, you know you get hit three times and you're dead and you got to start over it does hurt your stamina, and you go a little bit slower, but for the most part, it really doesn't have too much effect on the gameplay, other than it's just kind of a nuisance. So, alright, let's go. Oh, man. Come on. So it's kind of hard to tell when you need to use the uh, the flip jump and when you don't. There we go. Ooh. Come on. I'm such a noob right now. Oh no. All the way down. Uh. Keep overshooting that thing. Alright, come on. Alright, here we go. There you go. Bam! And you can tell he's pooped. But he made it all the way to the top. 
And that's it. So let's see what we got here for points. 268. So look, the uh, very first event I got the most points on. And I killed it on that first event. So that's it. Now we get our award. We get the uh, we get the aggro crag because we finished. There we go. Of course, first place, I am the only one, but you know. Can't complain about that. 1,340 points. Not too bad. Uh, not my best. I, I do remember doing a lot better. But hey, that's it. And so uh, this is Nickelodeon Guts on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This came out back in the 90s. Um, I'm MonkeyDo22 here for the Let's Play uh, Nickelodeon Guts on Super Nintendo. Uh, if you liked this video and you want to see more of these old school uh, retro game Let's Plays, uh, let me know in the comments below which game you want me to try. I'm more than happy to uh, uh, take a look and see if I have the game and be happy to try to play it uh, for you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.